In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. You ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Up now. To shoot, 
Move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. The hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the 3rd Precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on this story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. Why? Because he hopes you will see him as a man, a fellow human being. But this is only another one of the trapper's clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. Crimes for which you have been found guilty, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie, for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? To him. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. Morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Son of a bitch. 
bitch. Detective Calvary. I pretend you didn't just say that. You're dismissed. Hey, Becky. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? No. No, not really. I feel like it's some big cosmic joke that Dick has my future in his sweaty little hands. I know it feels like that, but they got nothing. So just lay low, keep a wide berth of cavalry. It'll blow over. Yeah, thanks. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie, you have a word in my office? Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Hey, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Got your message. Heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It'd be kind of a tough nut to crack. Uh, be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? I know how to get what I need. Call you after. Your attorney says you've got something you want to share with me? You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? What truth? I'm gonna die a liar.
dirty sin and liar. Truth about what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? Adam Jones? Adam was my friend at the orphanage. Things we'd been through together, who could blame him for killing them? You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No. No. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. No. He exists. Where is he? Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but... I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? <laughs> No idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. You gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but, uh... Nope. You got words. Use them. I kind of need to show you myself, you know? So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. Settle down. We could go together, check it out. Oh, you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going nowhere. I can't take it! I'm not supposed to be here! It's not supposed to go like this! Finn! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! If this is all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, 
It's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. Not enough to overturn. Finn is not a good man. But if he dies, and you didn't do everything in your power to make sure he is the Trapper, could you live with yourself? Sorry, it's thin soup. You're on your own here, so go to the judge and see what he says. Please, Felicity. <sighs> I'll talk to the police about Adam Jones. Maybe they'll find something, I don't know. But that's all I can do. Thank you. Sounds like a load of fresh horse manure. Case is airtight. We caught him in the act, for Christ's sake. You want to tell me why, exactly, we should be listening to that scumbag? I'm sorry to spring this on you. We all want the same thing. A man is about to be put to death and we need to make sure he deserves it. Oh, Jonathan Finn deserves it. Of that I am sure. Who exactly was Adam Jones? Did he come up at all during the investigation? Uh-huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Finn's got impeccable timing. You don't think he's full of it? I think, I think there's something there. I just want to put this thing to rest before Finn's put to rest. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he held his extracurricular activities. Does that sound familiar? No, I'd remember something like that. That didn't come out in the report. I was wondering, uh, Mr. Hillary, so, when you analyzed the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, I don't think so. So no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. So there was more evidence left to analyze? Well, yeah, trace signatures. Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. This case is closed. Finn had motive. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I think I'd like to hear from Detective Marnie, if you don't mind. Uh, sure. Catherine Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. We got a 10-8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break-in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but... That night, everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. And any one of us could have been next.
This is 609 on the CFBIP. Open exit on the highway, no perp. Gonna make an entry to the trailer. 609 acknowledged, caution advised. Search for the clue shown at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues before the timer runs out. Some of these clues could help you in the future, so try to find them all. this to you? I... I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh God, please help me. Please. What's happening? Okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Oh crap. Oh God! Oh my God, get me out of there! Well, at least we only had one casualty that night. Not that it did a lot of good. Social worker was killed in a hit and run a few weeks later. It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Finn must have seen you coming. Cut out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. It was very brave of you to go in there alone. I was, uh, just doing my job. And, um, uh, how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered that Mr. Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his name on it. When we got the tip, uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, we just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall in your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Watch out. Okay, okay, let's ease up on the pissing contest, all right? Let's at least try to pretend to work together. The Trapper case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Is there anything else we can help you with?
Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let you know if we find anything. Thank you. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that... Calvary's a dick. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? I... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Okay, sure. I can help you with that. Perfect. Call me. A rat trap? Huh. Yep. Found one at each of his crime scenes. Some kind of messed up calling card. I had no idea. We managed to keep it out of the press. Target number one, Rupert Walsh, the undertaker. After he killed him, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the officer who got the call took it in the chest. Simple, but messy. Not a guarantee he killed the responder. Was there anything more on the victim? I mean, he's the only one without a connection to Las Palmas, just a local gin hound. Finn called it a dry run with a wet noodle. I guess that was his idea of some kind of sick joke. But then again, if he's not the trapper, I... God damn it. This case is just the gift that keeps on giving. Ricky, do you want to take a break? No? Why, do I look like I need a break? Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Forget it, sorry, I... I'm just tired. Long week. I hear you. I just want to figure this thing out. Put it behind me. Well, the good news is it'll all be over before you know it. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Second target, nasty piece of work. Oh, this is the one that would beat the kids till you couldn't recognize them. LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas. A couple years before the orphanage, narcotics had a file on him a mile wide. But they couldn't get anything to stick. Slippery son of a bitch. The trapper left his body in a pitch black room, rigged a light fixture with C4. The cop who showed up flipped the light switch and let there be light. He's definitely elevating here. I mean, his first real kill, more sophisticated, but he wasn't satisfied. Third target. Father Rominski, leader of the pack. Chaplain at Las Palmas and the man behind the abuse. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. The trapper knocked him out, cut him open, and rigged him up with explosives to blow if he moved. We got a tape of the whole thing a few days later. The sick fucker made Rominski kneel in prayer for hours, confessing his sins. When he got what he wanted, he called Sergeant Teller. Did you know the other two cops? That was my precinct. So, all three of them, and you, a first responder in the botched attempt, all from the third precinct? The murders were in our district. How well did you know the other two? I mean, how well did you know the other first responders? Enough to know that I didn't like them much. I got out of there as soon as possible. What if the first victims in each incident were just a smokescreen, and the real target was the third precinct? Interesting. Yeah? These three cops, they weren't exactly best of the boys in blue. How so? Third precinct had problems of chemical variety. 
they were using? Yeah, and then some. I'm surprised this never came up in the investigation. I'm not. Anyways, you might have something. What's up with you and Calvary? No, there's a guy who's got it coming. You couldn't even cut that tension with a chainsaw. Calvary's just got to stick up his ass. Why is that? Well, for starters, I'm the one who nabbed the trapper, not him. He can't stand it. Okay, he's had some time to get over that. Yeah, you'd think. But he keeps messing with me. How so? Just because I'm good at my job, I have a target on my back. I'm sure that's not true. Yeah, easy for you to say. My dad's not around to fight my battles for me. No one has it easy in this town. Okay. This is 125 at the 1016. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. This is the police. Anyone here? Oh, dear God. Sir, can you hear me? Hey, what's going on? We got a problem. What? It was a cop. What? What happened? I was just trying to put that together. The call came in and there was a body. Responders showed up, body was rigged. The trap was down. Police? Who? How? It's cavalry. What? No, that doesn't happen. That's ridiculous. They're still sorting through the mess. Becky. Oh my god. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. From when we can piece together, it seems like Calvary brought a prostitute. Oh, God. Brought her back here where, uh, you know. Track her down? Only got a partial description. 20s, brunette. Great. Calvary put a whole clip in that wall and didn't hit one thing. Only blood here is his. And off some Montesinos. The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Traps. <gasps> Fuck. That's a whole clip. 
If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front, why would he miss? Oh God, it's really him. Anything? <sighs> Nothing useful. Becky, I'm sorry, but I have to ask you this. Where were you last night? I, uh, I spent the night, or uh, the evening, with Felicity Graves, going over files. All night? Yeah? So? Shit. What? You need to be very, very careful how you handle this. Why? You gotta make sure you account for all your whereabouts. Everyone knows how you and Calvary felt about each other. Tom. You have to be careful. Do you really think I could do something like this? Listen to yourself! I'm not accusing you. Oh no, but it's the first thing that pops up in there. You can't blow up. You know what this looks like. Be smart! This isn't happening. I wish it wasn't. I hated that fucker, but I would never do something like this. I believe you. You shouldn't have to believe me. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down, listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's gonna be tough on all of us, no one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. He, uh... Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to catch his flies with sugar. But he was one of us. 
and this atrocity cannot stand. And what about the bomb, sir? Was it intended to kill us? We got lucky. The blast exploded outward from the body, so when Hillary moved cavalry, the bulk of the force hit the wall. I'm grateful I still have my hands. Yeah, me too. Montesinos, not so lucky. So you really think this is the trapper? Could be this Adam character. Could be the hooker. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Fenn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. She is familiar with the Trapper's M.O. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. Detective Marnie, I'm gonna need you to look into Calvary's old Trapper case files. We're looking for links here, anything we could have missed. Yeah, sure. Got it. Okay, time to get moving. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ended up in. He's doing proud. Hi, Miss Graves. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks, no matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. Look, when I saw Finn in the lockup, he did offer to help. So? Well, if Adam Jones is real, he might help us find him. Well, it's complicated. Need a judicial order to get him out of cold storage. Yeah, wow. Good luck with that. I'm gonna talk to the judge. If it's a real lead, we gotta check it out while we still have time. Could be useful. I hope so. I mean, I'll speak to Judge Vanstone. If he agrees, will you be on the detail? Yeah, if I can get out of the dungeon. So I've been going over it in my head. What? You needed an alibi for me at the crime scene. Do you really believe that I had something to do with this? Becky. I asked you a question. Will you let me through, please? I want to know why you don't trust me. Beck, look, your little beef with Calvary wasn't exactly a secret. Questions are going to come up. That's why I'm asking him first. Well, I thought at least my own partner was supposed to be on my side. Look, you just want to make sure these questions have answers, okay? I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be fucked. So yeah, motive. How come no one ever called him on his shit? It would have caught up to him eventually. I guess. You have no idea. He'd film his girlfriends without telling him. One of his exes busted him for posting a sex tape on a porn site. It took six months pay to shut her up. Gross. But yeah, they're still gonna ask questions and the more distance you have, the better. Don't you think Sarge put you on the file work? You're my partner, Tom. How can I forget? We're supposed to be on the same side here. I'm not on your side because I'm your partner. I'm on your side because I'm your friend. And you got more around here than you realize. Why do you think Riggs put you on case review? He just wants me out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe he thinks you'll actually find something.
So Jonathan Finn claims this Adam Jones is responsible for the 2012 Trapper killings. That is what he claims. And now the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Yeah. Are you buying it? I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. <laughs> Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? Doesn't make sense. If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room at the orphanage. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take another look.
Hello? Hello? Marnie. Well, I just came from Vanstone, and he let Finn out under armed guard. Headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay? Someone was creeping around Las Palmas. It could have been nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Hmm. I'll see you at the house. Do me a favor and just make sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Don't get any ideas. It's good to see you again. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers, if that's what you're asking. You gonna help me out or what? Here. Thanks. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Couple squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. Thank you. 
So you're saying that this is... this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. What is all this? Adam's pop was a pest control man. You don't say. It was a pretty good one, too. <sighs> Traps, of course. The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's pop would get so blasted he couldn't see a hole in a ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off, right in front of Adam. Judge put her away for life. No parole, no visits from her kid. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later anyway. That's our justice system for you, right? Murder's murder. It wasn't self-defense. Maybe how you see it. Doesn't mean she had the right to kill. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there, Raminsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops, third precinct, and nobody did a goddamn thing. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to make them all pay. Those cops, he knew their beat. He timed every murder to the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. Cops failed, parents failed, system failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. It's not for me to decide, that's what a jury's for. Yeah, so I hear. Who gave him the right? You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. It don't matter much now. Once Adam got his man, he retired. And I'm about to pay the price. His man? Raminsky. His last victim. Yeah, Maminsky. What? He was a piece of work, all right. <laughs> Tell me about it. Ah, oh, shit. I need to take this. You gonna be all right? Hey. No, I don't know. I'm not sure. Fine. You still think I'm making all this up? Less and less. But without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're nuts. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on a leash. 
But on my own, I can draw him out. Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. No. But it could work. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. Did you forget that? Look, there's, uh... Something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, he'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can, because you know it's the only way to catch him. Look at me. I could take you out in a second. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. Prisoner 75422 is requested to be returned to custody immediately. This is Officer 732. Receive a request. Please stand by for confirmation. For five years, I thought I was responsible for the death of an innocent hostage. No one trusts me because of you. I'm sorry. Oh, save it. Give me one good reason I should trust you after all of that. I can't give you a good one, but I can tell you that I ain't the same man. A junkie believes whatever's convenient. Adam took advantage of that. Believe me, I want to take down this fucker just as much as you. How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me. Do it. killer known as the Trapper has escaped from prison just days before he was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible for the deaths of numerous first responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous and any sighting should be immediately reported to the authorities. All right, I want to know what happened. I want to know now. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been in there alone with him. He overpowered me. I blew it. Well, this is a goddamn mess, but we are gonna stay focused, and we are gonna get this son of a bitch back in custody. Tom, what's the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help them. Anything they need. <sighs> Becky, until we catch a break, I'm gonna need you to work in the case files. Okay, I'll get back to it. So. What the hell's going on with your partner? Something's just not right here. I can't put my finger on it, but. Keep an eye on her. Yeah, I will.
LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, in and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. Seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. have a little chat. <laughs> this is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. the right to remain silent. Huh. Anything you say. Can and will be used against me, yeah. I've heard that before, lady. Not so fast, are you? Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Adam Jones. Ah. What can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Bro could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Dirty cops ain't news, LeMay. You ain't got shit. Yeah, you're gonna send me up the river. You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Get this piece of shit out of here. This stuff about LeMay and the guys in the third precinct, is that the one you were dealing with back then? Teller was the ringleader over there. Kept his cars close to the chest. But I knew something was up. That's why I left. You have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. Yeah, I gotta keep that blue nice and clean, huh? We have bigger fish now, Tom.
8.23 p.m., revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but I always have to wonder if the forensic team missed something. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Calvary's gun. But why? Hey. Now what is that? Gotcha. Okay, now this is just... Huh. Okay, now who's this? Oh my god. That's from the orphanage. <laughs> Wow. Well, I never thought I'd say this, but thank God Calvary was one perverted piece of shit. This is huge. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will, just... Could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. It's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You too? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. If you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession to pin it on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God, please. Please, Becky. Felicity. Who am I? Who? I'm sorry. For you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on.
And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. You still think it's me? Like, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not going to help your case. My case? You're the one who broke into a crime scene. I think we're both guilty of that. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker. She's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Seems crazy, but yeah, maybe. Thanks. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. Maybe Finn's right. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. But if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? You know what? It's pretty late. Ah, <sighs> yeah. My advice, sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. All right, see ya. Hello? I found Adam Jones. Finn? Where are you? I'm outside his house. I told you I'd find him. I'm outside his house right now. Wait, where? In town? Yeah. Uh, have you talked to him? I followed him home. He didn't see me. Some woman left his place a little while ago. Now he's just in there by himself. What's the address? 1712 Alameda Road. This is Officer 609. I need to look up on a street address. 1712 Alameda Road. One moment. 1712 Almeida is the home address of Simon Hillary. What you? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. Look, Marnie's been weird, and yeah, she had motive. And? She didn't have opportunity. How do you know? She was with me the night that Calvary died. Ah. Uh, I mean, if she didn't, it'd be one hell of a trick.
Judge Van Stone? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What? What? what did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? Ah, uh, Van Stone, I, um... What is it? It's the trapper. You're... You're... You're, you're, you're rigged! I... What? Oh, fuck. Oh. No, 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 no! Oh. It's probably an, an, an explosive and... Shit. Oh, oh, God! How's your head, Detective Marty? They're coming for you. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Simon. I know it's you, Simon. Adam. I fucking know. Impressive work. I'm almost sorry no one's gonna get to know how good of a detective you are. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Van Stone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer, but every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. <laughs> For anyone in, say, a uh, hundred foot radius, give or take, which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop his heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? How much time? Not that much. But the calmer, the calmer you are, the more time that we'll have to figure this out, okay? So stay calm. So, if you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? You gotta get it out of me!
now they're just going to say she was the trapper, huh? She did have motive and opportunity. Did you ever trust her? I wanted to. Becky was with me the night of Calvary's death. All night. So if she didn't kill him, that means the trapper is still out there. Felicity, I know you think you're helping, but all the evidence, it points to Becky. But she's innocent. I mean, don't you guys stand up for each other? Don't you guys have a code? There's only one shade of blue, right? Yeah, right. It's just a line that fetters at the Academy. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home and tragically murdered. Detective Marty was killed in the explosion that killed Judge Vanstone. Officials have confirmed that Marty is considered a suspect in the slaying of fellow detective Jack Calvary. We've heard an unconfirmed report that Detective Becky Marty may have aided in the escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Jonathan Finn has been taken into custody and is reportedly cooperating with the investigation. Sources say he may have played a key role in identifying Hillary as a suspect. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. We can now confirm that Detective Becky Marnie has been killed. We have no further comments at this time. Thank you. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. I know she had motive. Opportunity, maybe. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. Uh, yeah, well, Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. In my uh, expert opinion, I suspect we'll never know the extent of uh, Marnie's deception. Very intelligent, manipulative, willing to take anyone down to get her way, especially those who trust her. But hey, at least she can't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I... I don't know. I just... It just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. I trusted her. I...
Whoa. You must have had some heck of a rat problem. We can now confirm that Detective Becky Marnie has been killed. We have no further comments at this time. Thank you. I don't know if Detective Marnie was a trapper. I can't prove that. I know 
she had motive. Opportunity, maybe. I guess it comes down to whether or not I trust her. I've been asking myself that for a long time now. Uh, yeah, well, Marnie covered her tracks like a pro. She was on the force, so she uh, knew exactly how we would think. In my, uh, expert opinion, I suspect we'll never know the extent of uh, Marnie's deception. Very intelligent, manipulative, willing to take anyone down to get her way, especially those who trusted her. But hey, at least she can't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I... I don't know, I just... It just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. I trusted her. I... Thank you.